stunted a bit because even if you really creatively go above the Pikachu, there could just be a Donkey Kong waiting for you, you yeah. know? So it's going to be really important, like you were saying, for MGW, win Nixie's off stage to be as helpful as possible. Yeah. Oh, and we already got to $2 before the match even started. Let's get three before that's this hype, match that's ends. Hype, that's hype. Okay, now this is something to see. So, so DK, as soon as Nick C put DK on stage, him and MGW and will automatically switch places, right? And that's the stuff that we're talking about, right? The team synergy. So they definitely already have a game plan laid out. Um, now let's see. Now let's see what Joe Pon and Dan the Man could do to counter that. Ooh, Ooh no tech. That tech. Yeah, and, and good stall by Nixie, and that's, that's what you're talking about, the creativity by Falcon going back to the stage, because like, there's going to be a lot of opportunities in this doubles match where that happens. And right there, we saw Pikachu Bear, and uh, Dan the Man missed the aerial off that, but that could just so easily be a kill at any moment. It doesn't send too far, like, even at high percent, you can combo off it. Pikachu's Bear, definitely one of the best double moves in the game. And um, Falcon up smash, one of the best sword moves in the game. Um, Ooh. And wow, SD from Jopon, and oh my god, and MGW tried to save Nick and <laughs> ended up taking stock in the process. Good effort, though. Yeah, and, and, that, and that was good by Jopon, because um, Dan the Man was definitely in danger of losing that stock off stage of Ninja. And Dan the Man going for the full commit mm -hmm. uh, fair right there. Very lucky he did not get reverse gimped by Nick C. Yeah, but I, I think, but I feel like he's doing that because he knows that um, Joe Pond has his back. And honestly, against Falcon, you need to do that. So like, I, I definitely do like that strategy by Dan the Man going deep off stage against Falcon. Wow. Now, that was really important. Otherwise, this game could have kind of gotten out of hand if MGW lived with that stock too much longer. <laughs> but look at that synergy right there. Yeah. Yeah, and, and honestly, they're both characters that have moves that kind of put you in a decent amount of hit lag um, that the other character can react to. Yeah, uh, Greninja's both up air and bear are like multi-hit moves that send not too far, so definitely perfect for stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you saw, you saw um, Greninja charging Shuriken while Nick C was charging up smash for the roll read. And um, yeah, right now, oh, Pikachu going really oh. deep. No way. You just cannot afford to give stocks yeah, away like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, this is happening. And all of a sudden, a somewhat possible comeback became pretty much impossible. Yeah. Pikachu is like so tricky to hit, so I feel like it'll take like a hot minute to kill, but it also feels like this is like impossible. Yeah, I, I would say if Falcon was at one stock, I could feel like you could cheese the Falcon stock real quick as Pikachu, and then try to just focus on Greninja really, really quick. But um, yeah, right now this is really tough. Trying to get the drag down back air. And, and Joe Pond, Joe Pond's just trying to jo see. And this, this is oh, that's it. This is okay. it. This is it. Okay, <laughs> this is what you need. This is what you need for Joe Pond right now. And Dixie's laughing right now. Um, but if they keep uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if they okay. keep messing up like that, mm -hmm. um, it'll be a totally different story. It won't yeah. be a smile anymore. Yeah, and this that's exactly what Joe Pond needed. Now you see Joe Pond is trying to take Nixie's stock. Yeah, he's short hop bearing. <laughs> like, please let me just he's get this. He's not even gym. paying attention to the MGW at all. <laughs> oh, that was yeah. terrifying. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was good. That's going to take it. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, they're very fortunate that they had two stocks to, two additional stocks to work yeah. with to where they can afford double SD and like that, mm. or I guess killing each other. But, um,. Yeah. I think that could have been a really different game if Jopon didn't get those SDs, though. Like, I think going into game <laughs> two, they have to just realize, like, okay, that was pretty close if mm -hmm. we didn't throw away stock. So just, they're a bit more on point off stage, and, like, they could not only live without SD, and they can get reversals and kill um, Falcon. Yeah, because those were two attempts by Jopon that were, like, just deep edge guards, which, you know, I agree with, right, especially against Falcon. You try, you try to go off deep. But um, deep commitments, and sometimes you can lose yourself, you lose your character in those double scuffles, right? So you have to really be keep in mind like where you are on the stage, because those are two situations where he just short armed the agility. I mean, excuse me, the quick attack, and um, like very strange. But um, yeah, like you said, I think they clean it up a little bit. Death will be a lot closer. Three, two, one. Yeah, um, I remember Joe Pona, uh, they picked, in my, we played them round one, um, me and Munel, and they picked uh, Town City and FD for their stage picks. So they seem to like flat stages. Um, that being said, 
What a brutal way. I'm missing the thunder on Pikachu himself, so yeah. it was just super laggy. Yeah, because what happened was Jopon expected all the hits of up air to connect, so he was just mashing thunder, and he fell out of the first one. <laughs> so it's really unfortunate stuff. But um, Pikachu, okay, Jopon coming in with the best crowd control, crowd control, crowd control, crowd control button in the game. There Holy you go. Oh, yeah, that move is a lot bigger than the animation looks. Like, it, it hits all over. It hits on the ground, I believe. Like, definitely a really good up smash. Yeah, no, it was gr yeah, great setup by Joe Pong. Yeah, Pikachu's back throw. Such a good setup throw. Just so much time to react. Yeah, very similar to Sonic that we were seeing last game, too. Oh, and this could be nice. Greninja's deep off stage, but good stuff from MGW going really high. You even have the Town City platform right there to kind of protect you. Yeah. yeah, and that's the thing about Gren Greninja could like just hang off stage and hang in the air for a long period of time and just like not care about anything. So Nixie doesn't really always have to worry about when MDW's off stage. Yeah, right now. Um, yeah, I was just I was just about to say, um, one of these guys are about to lose their stock, whether it was MGW or Dan the Man, and Dan the Man's first one lost their stock, and now you're at a little bit of a deficit. Yeah, you have to take these really fast. You can't let them get really big combo going. Did it good stuff with uh, MGW right there, but still Nixie hanging on, and the more percent tacked on DK, the worse the deficit gets. Nixie going for whole stock right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now they get the stock on Nick Nixie, this, they, they, they can be in very good shape. You see Nix, he's just not really, he's yeah. kind of staying still. He's like, come to me. I don't want to lose my stock over extending. Very smart stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you we don't have a stock lead. You know, you let your other teammate take a lot of the heavy lifting. And I think Greninja is such a good character for that heavy lifting just because he's so, like, tiny. Like, even in 2v1 situations, he can use his mobility and, like, overall hitbox to... Kind of stay alive for a decently long time. And now, even stocks, but 152% on DK. Yeah. No longer even stocks. Yeah, and there wasn't much you could do about that, right? Oh! Oh my god. It was almost really bad. And Pikachu, okay, trying to read that jump by MGW that time. They were both off stage. Oof. They're very fortunate that they got, and all of them got back okay, but still a lot of percent. Like, Nick this might not get back good. okay, and that uh, the Town City platform saving him. One of the best sword buttons in the game. He's just throwing it out there. And the thing about it, it has such it actually has such a big hitbox, it's such a big scoop hitbox, that it's actually a pretty smart thing to just throw out sometimes when you're in neutral. And right now, yellow team's biggest shot is Joe Pone staying alive. Like that is it's so crucial that he manages to live long enough for them to take both of their stocks. Do they get this Falcon stock right here? There's 2v1 situation. Yeah, and oh my god. And oh. actually. Okay, okay, now. Now we just have an 80-20 matchup. No, wow, wow. That up smash missing. And this is actually not too bad for Dan the Man. It was actually terrible. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, um, that, that, you know, that's kind of what you hope for at least at the, for the end of that game. Yeah, like considering your deficit, like you'll take that, but mm -hmm. it's just hard. I feel like I, MDW plays a lot of DK. I think he knows what DK's yeah. uses are. And I feel like, um, I mean, just... Words can't describe how much worse DK is in singles than he is in doubles. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of his strengths in doubles just have no relevance in singles. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, and, and that, was, that was good stuff by MGW. And it was just, like, all that situational awareness, right? It's just, like, you saw so many times where MGW was offstage and Nick just didn't care. Every single time Nick was offstage, MGW was at the platform. The same can be said for Joe Pawn and Dan the Men. Um, but just, they just had a little bit more trouble taking stocks from MGW, it seemed, than vice versa with uh, Joe Pond. Yeah.